Hello guys and welcome back to part two of our time lapse on the Twin Volcanic Peak Island. Now I have to admit this was a really fun build and what we're doing now going into it is sorting out the infrastructure. So that's the roads to start off with. Um, you're going to see a bit of the, the railway that I, I set up. I found it extremely difficult. It was very challenging. Um, actually working around this build just because of it being so mountainous um, and maybe a bit more planning at the start would have saved me a lot of heartache and headaches later on but we managed to, to have quite a, an interesting outcome I'd say. Now if you do enjoy this type of video make sure you subscribe and don't forget to like the video if you do enjoy this. It is my first ever time lapse and uh, my first custom map and although I think it went relatively well, I know it could be much better. So we're going to be looking more into detail and maybe actually building everything from scratch uh, when it comes to the map in the next videos in this series. Now the intention in this video from the get-go was actually to get the two volcanoes to join together with one big city. That isn't quite what we managed to complete in the end, but we still came up with some interesting results. Now the idea with these plateaus was that it would be an area for us to have another bus station so that we can really set up a lot of small routes that connect to each other to really spread the city and grow it fast. Um, although that isn't quite what happened um, to start off with. Now here you see me placing the three cities. Now I made a mistake right from the beginning which was to place all three of the cities on the same side. Um, which meant that we did have a few issues um, actually growing to the other side of the, the mountain to start off with. Now moving on to the railway system, uh, the problem with it being on a mountain is that trains can only do very slight slopes at a time, which meant the train track was taking up a huge amount of room and often meant that I was having to precariously place them across and over the edge of the mountain. And I found it very difficult uh, working around the terrain both for the train tracks and the roadside, especially when you started to build tunnels because every time you try to place a track or road, 
your roads would generally try and clip to the ones that were inside the mountain. But after several hours we managed to get this to roughly how we wanted it and decided to continue. Now with the train system in place we have um, two train tracks. The first one is the top of the main volcano, the large one, and the second one starts from the bottom of the main volcano and works its way up to the top of the second one. This is just to connect the two and I was hoping by adding good public transport links that the, that the residential area would build up around these um, roads and public transport areas. However, didn't go quite as planned. Now here you can see a, a little bit of one of the sides of uh, the transport links and here we have all of the uh, bus stops and truck stops that we used from the get-go and as you can see there are quite a lot and it all adds up uh, which is actually causing a lot of issues for my laptop. I can't wait to get back to the UK uh, to start playing this on my actual gaming computer as this is definitely uh, starting to struggle. And once we have all the transport links set up, everything starts to go as planned. You can see straight away how everything is starting to grow um, and at a pretty fast speed within the first five ten years we have massive skyscrapers growing and this is obviously due to us providing a huge boost to the to the demand they require with each city pulling in about 200 to 250 percent bonus growth now at first everything was going to plan it was growing uh, slowly outwards but it was still expanding along the the roads that I had planned and then things started to happen quite randomly where all of a sudden industrial buildings or commercial buildings would just start cropping up above the city on another plateau now obviously it's because the city radius is quite close together and it's not done by um, going along the roads but the proximity to the city itself which meant that my plan for having the city slowly growing and spiraling upwards to the, the volcano top wasn't going to work so I end up missing a few bits but as you can see here it all starts growing upwards and outwards I did leave the computer on overnight and after about six hours I woke up to find that a lot of the city had been building over the whole mountain and it's really impressive what has um, happened over the space of a few hours. It suddenly jumped.
Now you can see 125 years from the start date that we have this massive metropolis growing. But for some reason, another massive little town. I mean, it doesn't class it's class. It doesn't classify itself as a city because it doesn't have the supply and demands. But it's just started growing the opposite side of the mountain and I have no idea why because there's still plenty of space for it to grow on the other side of the mountain or on the mountain itself. Another thing is I feel this seaside town here reminded me very much of Lima and it occurred to me maybe in the next few videos um, as we go into this series of time lapse I'll actually look on real world um, areas and actually try to mimic the, the, the lay of the land and see what happens if we run out of time lapse on there. Now if that does sound good to you do let me know in the comment section so that we can uh, have a look at where to do our next time lapse. But overall, um, these cities have started to merge across the mountain. And unfortunately, because my laptop is dying, I'm not able to continue um, this game. It's just too much of a drain on the, the laptop's resources. But you can see it's slowly starting to merge over from one mountain to the other, which would have been awesome. Um, anyway guys, this actual map I'm going to place onto the Steam Workshop, so if you guys want to try it out and see what you can come up with, um, do check it out over there. And also feel free to send some screenshots on my official Discord channel, the link is below, um, to show me what happened to your build. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, please like the video. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, until next time, ciao for now.